it's so early in the morning that the sun's not even all the way up. I don't know why I do this to myself. What is up you guys? My name is Madison. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. So, there's this little thing called the reading rush. And they had a little stay at home version because obviously we're stuck inside. And I tried it out. So I tried to read four books in four days. And did I do that? Sure. Did I read all of them all the way through? No. So here in my little notebook, I have the four prompts, as well as the amount of pages in each book, cut off in increments of 50, except for the very last one, which would be however many is left after that increment of 50. So I have um, 14, I have 33-ish, and then I have 11, and every time I got to that goal of 50, I crossed it out with a pink Sharpie. So I have the prompts right here and then the books that I have, but I'm not going to go in order. I'm going to start with the two books that I finished. I ended up getting both of these books in the fifth grade, and I'm a junior, so if that's not going to give you how long I've had these books, then I don't know what will. So the first one is a book with a place I'd like to visit, and I chose from the notebooks of a middle school princess, and this is the second book because I don't have the first book, but it's A Royal Wedding Disaster. This is kind of what the Princess Diaries are based off of. I think it's Princess Diaries. Obviously, you can see that I tabbed all the way through, and this is about a girl named Olivia who um, was pretty much in a day told she was a princess and moved to Genovia. And her sister Mia, or Amelia, uh, is getting married to a, not really a prince, but somebody named Michael. Um, <clears throat> and she has to do with a stuck-up cousin and her best friend coming. And she goes to school, she starts a new school, and it, this just follows her little notebook. And there's some amazing drawings in here, too. Like, they really put some, like, detail into this like there's her and a horse and let me see i can see this tab let me get to this tab there's her and a prince setting up light fixtures it's it's pretty stunning like the artwork in here but that was this book and the other book that i finished follows the prompt a book you can read in one room and I chose The Heartbreak Me Messenger by Alexander Vance. Oh, by the way, this is by Meg Cabot Gabo. I don't know how to pronounce it, but this, this book is the first book that I ever read once I moved here. Um, and there's a whole reason to that, but we're not going to talk about it. But I remember reading this in fifth grade and everybody read, like got to the book fair and read it and I just never got rid of it, I guess. I reread it, and there are some things that I picked up on now that I didn't realize when I was, you know, like 10. So it, it was an interesting ride. It's about a boy named Quentin. Um, and he does a job for his best friend's older brother to break up with his girlfriend for $20. And eventually, uh, he gets more people wanting to do it, so he turns it into a business. And then he he's really jealous of her friend Abby because she meets a boy. And Abby also gets really, really mad at Quentin through, and Rob, who's the other, the third best friend, um, throughout Quentin through the entirety of the book. And it's it's a good book about friendship. It's a good book about falling in love They're, they followed the uh the story of three 13 year olds pretty much and it makes sense i never went to middle school i don't know if middle schoolers act like this they don't around here they're a lot worse around here but that was this book and then the book that i'm mostly through that i could probably finish today follows the 
prompt of a book that makes you happy, and I chose The Isle of the Lost by Melissa de la Cruz. I have all three books. I think there are three books. I'm pretty sure. And then I have, like, two, like, comp companion books, I guess. I have, like, Mal's Diary and then, like, The Spell Book. But I chose to read The Isle of the Lost, and my favorite character has always been Jay. I think he's so funny. Um, and then I obviously, like, all of the other ones. But this follows the story of four, five, five kids, um, Maleficent's, Maleficent's daughter, Jafar's son, the Evil Queen's daughter, Cruella de Vil's son, and then, <clears throat> uh, the son of Beauty and the Beast, or, like, the son of, like, Beast and Belle. Um, and... I've read this book before. I love this book. I love this whole series. I love the movies. I love the soundtrack to the movies. Um, but pretty much, um, if you didn't watch Disney Descendants, because you don't have like a younger sibling or a child or whatever, it's pretty much uh, Ben, Belle, and Beast's son invites four children from the Isle of the Lost, which is where all the villains and rejects went pretty much. They call it, um, like the rejects called the Island of the Leftovers because they only get like broken things, moldy food, things like that from Oridon, which is where all the princesses and princesses and kings and queens live. But he invites Maleficent's daughter Mal, Jafar, our son Jay, the evil queen's daughter Evie, and Caldeville's son Carlos to the Isle, to not to the Isle, to Oridon to participate in school because Ben doesn't like the fact that these kids are just left alone suffering because of their parents misunderstandings not even misunderstandings like they did some pretty messed up things however everybody was afraid mostly of mal maleficent's daughter coming because she is pretty much the queen of the isle of the lost everybody's afraid of her she can banish anybody she can pretty much do whatever she wants um but she doesn't tend to leave the house while mal participates in school like all of them participate in a school and some of them obviously don't show up because it's the island of evil kids you know um but mal carlos and evie all have really high evil like intelligence they call them eqs um and it just follows the story of all of them kind of transferring over to uh I don't even know the name of the school. Like, I don't remember. But um, it transferred them over to the school of, like, the princesses and princes because Ben saw Mal in a dream and was like, this is what we're doing. And through about half of this book, Mal and Ben were pretty much only communicating through dreams. Um, and then when they saw each other, they were like, okay, well, I guess I'm a nut job. So that's this book. I got to page 108 in this book, it's chapter 11, and I still stand by what I said at the end of this video, and I enjoy it even more because they talked about different Disney shows like Liv and Maddie and Dog the Blog, and I like those shows, so. And the last book, um, I kind of stretched the prom just a little bit because I didn't want to have to read a classic. Um, it's a book with a house on it, and I chose The Wicked City by Beatrice Williams. It's a city... There are apartment com complexes. Those are houses, right? So, yeah. Somebody be, can be living in this car or that car or any of those cars right there. This follows the stories of two girls, one named Ella, who just recently got a divorce. And she is pretty much, it's written like she's kind of writing in a notebook. Um, like she's talking to a notebook. And she's like a divorce, moved into an apartment complex, and she's trying to adjust to the new way of living. And that takes place in 1998. And then the second girl, her name, or woman, her name is uh, Jenerva Kelly, or Ginger, or Jin. She goes by all of them throughout the, even like the first chapter of the book. Um, and she is pretty much helping somebody take down her stepfather. Um... I love this book so much. I love this book so much. And this was the one I was most excited to read, which I'm really upset that I didn't get a chance to finish. 
but I might end up finishing it. I might put this on my TBR for next month to finally just sit down and finish reading it. Obviously, I have tabs. I have tabs in all my books that I've read. Um, and I didn't even get to page 50 of this book. I'm on page, like, 40-something. Yeah, I'm on page 40. Um, but this one, I might do, like, a complete reread um, next month because I didn't get a chance to finish it. But I'm going to see how far I can go today and tomorrow, even though it descends, like, today at midnight. And that's this book. But that was, this is the first time I've ever tried to do something like that. But, like, if you've, if you know me at all, I don't know if I mentioned on my channel, I did read the first two Harry Potter books in two days. Not the first three Harry Potter books, but the first three Harry Potter books in, like, two days. So, um, yeah. So I'm kind of upset that I couldn't finish all four books because none of them go past 400 pages. Like, this is the longest book with 360 page, 364 pages. This one has 311, and both of these have 283. So, I mean, I kind of expected to finish these because these are, like, elementary school books. Like, yeah. I mean, this one you can pretty much read at any age, but the font is still, like, pretty big, you know. It's a children's book. And this one is definitely, like, YA, you know, made for, like, older people. Font is incredibly small. I also like that the chapters kind of, like, keep going at the end of each chapter. But the font is pretty small, so I didn't really expect to finish it unless I started, like, day one and read through it all four days. Or, like, I could even finish this two days if I just didn't do anything else. But, you know, obviously... I don't read while I'm eating. I don't read when I'm with my family. I don't read while watching TV unless it's like super late at night and I have some kind of cartoon on, preferably a French cartoon because I love those. Um, and I don't read while I'm stretching, obviously. I don't read while I'm running. I don't listen to audiobooks. I can't listen to audiobooks. Like I, I just can't. Um, and that's that. I I was busy. I filmed obviously my tear chat video. If you saw my if you saw yesterday's video, I filmed that, um, which took up about thirty minutes because I also had to edit it and send it to my mother, who had to send it to my cheer coach, and then we had to make or send it to the cheer coach, and then we had to make a schedule for an interview, which took about another thirty-ish minutes. So I took about an hour away from it. Plus, I hit a really, really bad, like, slump. So, like, I'll still read during slumps because it makes me happy. It calms me down. But I also sleep a lot. So I slept for the majority of the past four days. Which is why I'm surprised that I managed to finish two and get as far into these as I did. Like, I read maybe, like, 20 pages of this this morning. Um, but if I do end up finishing a book, I will probably update it because i'm probably not gonna like post this video until like noon because it is still like seven o'clock um the sun is just coming up so if that is i'll probably insert where i am when i'm like editing it with each book so like say i finished this i'll put it in with when I talked about this book um but out of all of them I think this is the fa my favorite one like I know I can always go back to these like the, this trilogy and thrive and then I would say my least favorite would have to be heartbreak messenger I'm gonna give this like three and a half stars which still like isn't bad but it's not like the best this one I don't care how old I am I don't care how like, much my reading style changes. I will always love this book. I will always give this five stars. This is my favorite. Like, it's my favorite. Like, I could be 50 and my reading style could have changed so much. 
and I'll still always love this book. This one, I'm not even going to, like, try it because I haven't read it all the way through in, like, two years? Is that how long I've had this book? So, then it was, it, it was, like, a four. Now, I don't know. It's not as interesting anymore. And this one, I like this book. This one, like, it's, it's cute. And it's good if you're sad because it'll annoy the crap out of you, but it'll make you so, so happy. So I'm going to give this book a four too, which kind of sucks. Mm, no, I won't give it a four. I'll give it like a 3.75. Yeah. Because this is one of those books that you have to be in the absolute mood for. Because it is such a children's book. But I give the movies like a five out of five. I said it. But anyway, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. All my social media will also be down below. I post every three, I post what? I post three or four times every week. And I will see you next time, whenever that may be. Bye.